the vibrant vibe of this organized by our college bmm department that is till shift 2019 <laughs> our beloved media fest is in its fourth edition this year with four times the more fun, fun the fr frolic and the films along with literary arts performing arts fine arts events our main event the highlight of our event is the 60 hour film project the 60 hour film project every single year draws in hundreds of participants from all across the country for budding filmmakers the 60 hour film project is just the right platform to showcase their talent exciting cash prizes await you and so does the universe of cinema further on we have dance event photography event mono acting event fashion parade and what not and did i mention a plethora of literary and fine arts events to suit every performer who wants to dazzle in the crowd we at the tilshift family also believes in giving our aid to the society and doing our part Hence, every year we associate ourselves with the social cause. For the last couple of years, we have organized a beach cleanup, a donation drive, extending help to cancer patients, and also we visited a lot of orphanages. Because what cause is more noble than spreading love? And today, we have been fortunate enough to have joined hands with an organization which is as big as Mukti Foundation. Our hearts go out to those who have been infected with HIV and are put under gruesome social annihilation for the same. We at Tilshift are extremely thankful for Mukti Foundation for giving us the platform and the opportunity to come forward and do our bit. Enough of us talking now. It's time for some action. We hereby present to you a soothing performance by the students of Roya College BMM department. Get ready to immerse yourself in a soul stirring dance act by our dancers Akhil and Anushka on an original composition written by our very own literary arts team and performed live by the very amazing Maitreya. By the way, this thoughtful composition is a peak in the heart and mind of a person who is diagnosed with HIV AIDS. It traces the shock, disbelief, discomfort, shame, guilt, and alienation that the person faces. The person faces social discomfort, social alienation, and emotional distress. But our song aims to empower HIV positive people. It's a heartfelt message from us to them that there's always light at the end of the tunnel. How someone perceives your disease is not up to you. If they do not accept you, it is their limitation and not yours. And for people, all of us like you and me, people with HIV are not somebody to be afraid of. You know what? They actually should be loved, accepted, cared for, embraced and not dismissed. And you know what? It's the people like you and me who need to open our hearts and our minds for them. And yes, we've got our superstar joining us. Please put your hands together for Sunny Leon. She's right here. Sunny, welcome to the Freedom Parade by Mukti Foundation. It's so nice seeing you down here. And we've got our next performance. It's our last performance. His name is Ansh. He's going to be singing for us. Ansh, please come and take over.
21 years, she's taken an active part in uh, helping women and children and also raising funds and donations. She's a gorgeous soul and she's, she's the one who actually got the Freedom Parade and, uh, you know, helped us spread awareness on HIV. Please put it. She doesn't need an introduction, does she? She's pretty. She's gorgeous. She's <laughs> Aji, um, it's been 21 years, long journey with Mukti Foundation. How has the journey been so far? The journey is definitely very interesting. Uh, I was doing my social work before also, but uh, yes, I formed my foundation 21 years back. Uh, with uh, my first activity was for AIDS awareness, because at that time uh, people were really not very uh, known about what the disease called AIDS is. Uh, there was a lot of taboo about this particular disease. So uh, I, me being into the film industry, I have taken uh, help from film fraternity, then uh, cricketers, then industrialists, and then a lot of big uh, events, just to spread louder message. Uh, we have done uh, like 11 episodes uh, TV program also, along with HIV infected uh, students, as well as uh, uh, women, as well as men. Uh, my only intention is to take help of entertainment industry is to show that life is beautiful and we can spread the message positively. So this time also we thought of doing something different. Uh, now that people know, people are really aware of what AIDS is. There are a lot of developments in medical platform also. There are a lot of new medicines which have come where you, you really need not have to get scared. Uh, it is just like other diseases and we thought of uh, taking an advantage of uh, joining a different community so I thought of joining hands with LGBT people also uh, there is uh, when you see the statistics there are different kinds of ratios which are showing uh, which are increasing and decreasing in women, in LGBT people, than in state people. So we thought like we would like to just, uh, join hands with all the people and give message in a very colorful way. So this is how we thought and uh, today's day the parade is here and beautiful people here and beautiful people around me. So I'm so thankful that uh, people have been really supporting for what I really want to do in my society. Just uh, one question related to your parade. Um, you know, AIDS is a very serious uh, topic across the world. What, what thought did you have to come, you know, with an idea of having a parade with it? Like I said, uh, we have only one life. And I believe in that, that you should live the, your life fullest. So to give the message that we love, I love my life, each one love their life. And please accept all those people who have been detected in HIV. Uh, you cannot just ignore them. You cannot ill-treat them. And uh, each one has right to live their life. So we chose this concept like a parade. Uh, to love your life, to see it very positively. This is what my intention is, to choose this. Thank you so much. Thank you for all the awareness that you have shared with us. And yes, we want to hear from Sunny. Sunny, as a person, as a human being, what is it that you do to spread awareness on HIV? Well, I promote condoms. <laughs> um, so there's the first one. Um, I believe that um, education starts from home. Education starts from events like this. Uh, that get held by amazing foundations. Um, I believe that everybody has a voice now. Everybody's on YouTube. Everybody has a social media account. And if all of us just come together and spread the word together, then we can make a really, really big difference um, in the future of young people and in 
you know, educating people on what they can do and uh, how to bring awareness to each other. So it's really important. Sunny, one question. You know, it's still like a social stigma uh, of the fact that people uh, still bother about the fact that, oh, I have to go and do uh, an AIDS test. Do you think everybody should do an AIDS test? Absolutely. I think that if you are promiscuous and you are, you know, engaging in acts before marriage that, you know, even, even if you are getting married, I think it's a good idea to go get tested. You don't know where the other person's been. Um, so as, as far as I'm concerned, I think it's extremely important to go get te tested, not only for HIV, but for other STDs that are out there. Um, it's not gonna hurt you. It's just a little tiny prick. And then once you get that piece of paper that says that you're clear and everything's negative, you'll feel amazing. Um, this is something that is practiced a lot in the US and I believe that um, there are plenty of facilities that don't judge you and you can walk in and you can get tested and you don't have to worry about anything anymore. So I believe it's extremely important. If we all say, let's get tested all together, <laughs> then maybe it won't be so uncomfortable. That is so true. Please give it up for Sunny, guys. What a lovely message. Get tested. That is important. Know where you are at so at least we can, you know, uh, continue with our medications or at least you know you're free from it. Uh, talking about other uh, STD infections like Sunny just uh, mentioned, uh, you're the best in telling us about it. Now, we've heard about HIV, but there are other, um, you know, names like ART and ARV. What are those? Can you just explain? So ART and ARV is antiretroviral, antiretroviral or antiretroviral therapy. And these are very effective medications for HIV AIDS. Like 20 years back, the epidemic looked different because the medications were expensive, they were inaccessible, they had a lot of side effects. But thanks to the entire science boom in this field, we really have effective ART, so much so that HIV is now like any other chronic manageable disease, you know, just like blood pressure or hypertension. You have the disease, you don't get cured of it, but you live your entire life taking effective pills. So that's the protection for the person who has the disease. What's, more, what's also important is that people who have HIV and are on these medications suppress their virus in their blood. And once the virus is suppressed, they do not transmit the infection. So there's this entire concept of undetectable. By undetectable, it's the virus being undetectable in blood. These people are untransmittable. So by just getting everyone diagnosed, so say if I go for a test, I get diagnosed with HIV, it's a shock. 